Hello, everyone. My name is Gorica Bratic. I'm a PhD student and temporary research fellow at Polytechnic University of Milan. And it's my pleasure to present you today our work uh, that I uh, did together with Professor Maria Bravelli and engineer Daniela Oxoli. That is called Intercomparison of Global Land Cover Maps in Africa, Supplemented by Spatial Association of Errors. So first of all, I would like to give you some clues what I will talk about today. So uh, in the introduction, I will present you what is our motivation behind this work. Then I will describe a data set. Uh, these data sets are uh, uh, Global and 30 and S2 prototype LC 20 meter map of Africa that I will call CCI Africa prototype for the simplicity. Then I will present methodology that was a bit uh, different than traditional methodology of uh, intercomparison, and then I will show the results and finally draw some conclusions. So, uh, in the past years, the number of land cover maps have been increasing, and uh, that's because the uh, high demand for these maps, so because these maps provide uh, very useful information for different applications. On the other hand, uh, Earth observation. Um, technologies that are behind these land cover maps are also improving so they uh, allowed uh, like technology for uh, to increase the number of land cover maps uh, one part of produ production of land cover map is um, validation and it is crucial in order to determine if ma map is accurate enough for certain application However, by increasing the number of land cover maps, we are also increasing the efforts that we need to put to validate them. And um, a traditional way of validation is quite uh, time-consuming and also like uh, costly. And by intercomparison, we can reduce this uh, time and uh, also money that we spend for validation. Um, in, in general, valid, uh, for validation, we need to. The biggest problem is to collect reference data, and uh, we usually need to do the field work or photo interpretation of high resolution satellite imagery. While with intercomparison, we can reduce this by comparing one land cover map with another land cover map, and then in this way we can identify which, is, which are the most uh, critical regions in terms which are the regions with which don't agree on both of the maps and then focus validation on these parts. So I would call uh, intercomparison as a preparation for validation. The scope of our work was to compare two recent uh, high resolution land cover maps on Africa and we uh, reduced the region, restricted the region to the country of Rwanda. So, uh, what we did here, we uh, used traditional accuracy indexes, but actually we didn't determine accuracy, we just determined uh, similarity between the maps, but the indexes in literature, you will find them called accuracy indexes, that's why I call them like that. Uh, besides, we, deter uh, we uh, est explored spatial var variabilities and patterns of this agreement. Then um, dataset processing was suited uh, to uh, obtain numerical values uh, of the disagreement because uh, in general the, the values uh, related to land cover maps are um, categorical but we needed numerical values to perform uh, spatial uh, analysis that we did here because uh, spatial analysis methods are very few for categorical data. Uh, then uh, the results uh, show that similarity between of the two maps is not very high and also that the spatial correlation of the disagreement is uh, strong. So the two data, set, uh, two data sets we used are Globland 30 and CCI Africa prototype. Globland 30 is produced by National Geomatic Center of China. It has resolution of 30 meter because uh, it is produced from a uh, Landsat imagery that uh, has a 30 meter resolution. Uh, imagery is from 2015 and it has 10 uh, land cover classes. Uh, then we have a CCI Africa prototype that is a product of a climate change initiative of European Space Agency. It has 20 meter resolution, it's for year 2016, and like uh, Global and 30, it also has uh, 10 land cover classes. So for, for the process, 
uh, we needed some pre-processing before doing proper uh, intercomparison. So the two things were common for uh, pre-processing of the data. Uh, the complete pre-processing was done with GraphGIS. This is the first similarity. And the second uh, similarity is that they were both reprojected to uh, Mercator, uh, pseudo Mercator pro uh, projected coordinate system in order to have map units in meter because originally they were in WGS84 and in degrees. Then uh, further pre-processing steps were done for CCI Africa prototype. Uh, this was resampling to 10 meter resolution and then reclassifying to match uh, the classes of Globeland 30 so that we can compare them. Uh, and uh, this slide is explaining um, how we did intercomparison. And uh, intercomparison we did is, as I mentioned at the beginning, is different from the tra traditional or common intercomparison because um, it, he, what we did here is uh, we compared single pixel of one map to the multiple pixel of another map. And common um, procedure is to compare pixel by pixel, one by one. So we call this procedure sub-pixel sub comparison. And um, uh, we uh, compared one pixel of Globeland 30 to the nine pixel of CCI. And here it is visible why we uh, resampled um, a CCI Africa prototype to 10 meters so that we can have exactly uh, nine pixel uh, to compare with one pixel of Globeland 30. Then another interesting point here is that we needed uh, additional, I would call it artificial raster, uh, to keep the track of the position of each global and 30 uh, pixel because with our procedure we couldn't, uh, couldn't have that simply without this raster. The, um, this raster had the same size and resolution as Globlan 30, but uh, the values were from one to the total number of pixels of Globlan 30 uh, distributed row-wise. Here we can see illustration of the uh, procedure on example of one pixel of Globlan 30. So what we can see here in in um, we have a value of we overlaid these three maps to compare them. We have a value of ID 15, which means that that is a 15th, uh, like order 15 of this pixel of Globeland 30. Pixel of Globeland 30 has value 30, while the pixels, uh, we have five pixels of CCI Africa prototype that are exactly the same class as the Globeland 30 pixel, and then four uh, pixels that are different classes. We uh, wrote all of this in the first table there. Then we aggregated this table by the ID numbers, by, by the same ID, and we uh, got a count of each class in, in the second table for one ID, no, ID value. And this second table, when we did uh, the procedure for whole map, it was useful to derive error matrix for uh, computing, let's say, similarity indexes. And uh, the third, uh, third table is representing um, uh, each row we divided by the total of the row to obtain percentages, which, as I told, which are numerical values, which we used for uh, spatial association uh, analysis. And we call the last table um, sub-pixel disagreement table. And the whole procedure was done in combination of uh, GraphGIS functionalities and uh, Python programming language. So uh, the traditional in the accuracy indexes that we computed, which now maybe doesn't seem good because they are actually, in this context, they are similarity indexes. However, they are called overall accuracy, user's accuracy, and producer's accuracy. Uh, for uh, spatial association, we computed uh, global more and I from sub-pixel disagreement table. And for uh, computing global more and I, we used uh, weights, based on, weights based on eight nearest neighbors. So uh, first result is the result of so-called producer's accuracy. That is uh, agreement between global and 30 and CCI Africa prototype in each class measured with respect to the total number of pixels per each class of global and 30. So in, uh, in this graph, we can see that uh, similarity between 
the classes in two maps is highest when it comes to the classes cultivated land and water bodies. We had a bit of a problem in the classes of tundra and bear land because they were not at all present in the global and 30. And, but uh, this is probably the problem of matching different uh, classification legends and we didn't, we didn't simply have enough information to do this matching better. Then uh, the two classes that have low uh, similarity are shrubland and wetland and they are present in both of the maps. And um, shrubland in the CCI is mostly confused with grassland in uh, GL30, while uh, wetland is mostly confused with forest in uh, GL30. Furthermore, we have user's accuracy, that is agreement between Global and 30 and CCI Africa prototype in each class, measured with respect to total number of pixels per each class of uh, CCI Africa prototype. So um, here again, uh, the results for user's accuracy are quite consistent with the results of producer's accuracy. Again, we have high similarity for uh, cultivated land and water bodies and low similarity for shrubland and wetland. But this time, shrubland and wetland both are confused with cropland in the CCI Africa prototype. Uh, overall accuracy uh, was accounted for 66%, which means that two maps are not very similar. And the uh, classes uh, with the highest confusion, which were wetland and shrubland, are uh, analyzed further. Global Moranai was 0 0.74, which indicates strong spatial correlation of the disagreement. And also we uh, identified a significant uh, sp uh, spatial clustering in the mismatching pixels. Uh, this is... Uh, we, uh, this is the figure that is showing total disagreement between Global and 30 and CCI Africa prototype. And uh, in this, this figure is showing that there is uh, stronger patterns are on the, uh, on the east side and the northwest side of this map. And the, the darker is the color, the stronger is the disagreement between the maps. And then uh, this is a map of disagreement for the two classes, uh, wetland that is in blue and shrubland that is in green. And we can see that probably uh, this is also shown on the map of um, total disagreement because again here we see the strong, um, strong patterns on the east and on the west of the map. And uh, finally I will draw a few conclusions. So uh, our work was uh, inter, uh, focused on intercomparison of two land cover maps of Africa that are uh, Global and 30 and uh, CCI Africa prototype. Accuracy assessment techniques were applied in order to determine similarity between the maps and spatial association uh, of disagreement between the two maps was analyzed. Methodology applied here allowed comparison of the data set with different resolution and also we introduced, we found a way to turn categorical data into numerical data. Uh, similarity between the two of the maps is rather low and wetland and shrubland are um, the most critical classes with the highest disagreement. And uh, the areas we identified with our analysis, uh, we see it as a, as a areas which require uh, further attention, further analysis, maybe to do validation there, or maybe also some other analysis. That's it. Thanks for the presentation, very nice. Personally, I was happy to see GRASS uh, again. As a core developer, it's nice to see that the, the software is use, useful and used. So, please. I hope that you have questions. It was just, it doesn't have any special reason we just chosen one country to analyze because also I forgot to mention this, this procedure that we applied is quite like time consuming so we couldn't apply for whole Africa so we have chosen one country which didn't have, not for a specific reason. 
<laughs> you can have small also, yeah. Okay. I want to know how do you deal with Shankarian and integrating Yeah, this was a tricky point because for Global and 30, we have some description of the classes, not very detailed, but some. And for the CCI Africa prototype, we had only names. So we were forced just to use the names and do our best to match because we couldn't find, and this is often a problem with dealing with comparison of land cover data. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if you took into account the, the spatial, uh, it, whether there was a correlation between this disagreement and the spatial distribution of land. Right. Uh, I think. Uh, like, uh, if, uh, let's say that uh, most uh, wetlands are in one specific area of the country, then uh, the, uh, there we will, we will see the most disagreement. So it's mm -hmm. like, Yes, uh, we didn't do analysis for that specifically, but this is always true for land cover data. Like they will be correlated because they are already only in one portion, let's say. But we didn't do specific analysis here to compute indexes or something like this. <laughs> I, I was curious um, if you, uh, I mean, I know the point of this was to compare the two data sets to each other for those data validations. I was curious if you had any opinions on one of the other compared land reference data that you might have seen, any, any, any reference data, any, of, any other data that you think. Because I had used uh, both data sets for the Northern Mali, and I found that the ECSCCI data set was completely unusable. Um, hmm. Well, further work beside this paper was to analyze further the data. So I did for each confusion for the, let's say, for each uh, confusion for the class combination, I tried to analyze with some, let's say, I compared it with Bing maps and everything, but so far I didn't find anything peculiar, but this, this were analysis from the point of uh, spatial correlation. And I didn't compare it with any reference data. Hypothesis for this work were that if the two maps have agreement in the same area, it is high probability that it is true. And then the part of this agreement is a part that we would recommend to apply further analysis, but we didn't do this.
thanks a lot. Uh, we have a few minutes for, for a break that, that you can change the rooms. And for the newcomers, this is academic track.